Jojewski on the flag header. But what a dream start at the reborn Wonderland. It's the captain. A goal on debut for Kyra Cooney Cross. And now Bacchus. Oh, what a wonderful goal. It's the Academy kids who put it together for the Wanderers. Welcome to the Virtual Wanderers Medal 2020. We are your hosts, Tatiana and Turner from WSW Live. Tat, it's fantastic to be with you again. Thank you. It is great to be here. You clean up very nicely. Thank you. And I must say, Tat, you look stunning tonight. Thank you very much. It is uh, medal night. It is medal night and we have dressed for the occasion. Yeah. Um, what a year. What a season. What a year. I mean, the fact that we're doing this online live to all our, to all our wonderful members um, at home and of mm -hmm. course, a very unprecedented year. Yeah, strange. We've had floods, we've had fires, we've had a pandemic. Um, but, I mean, if we're looking at good news, our W League did make their first final series. They made history for the Western Sydney Wanderers. A fantastic season, and I believe Hef wants to go one better. Absolutely. We're always looking to go uh, one better. That's right. The, the A League, of course, uh, won two Sydney Derby, so mm -hmm. there's the positives there. And of course, we drew the third. We did see a departure of Marcus Babel, but uh, with JP De Marini coming in, we had a bit of a mid season resurgence. Uh, we just couldn't get enough points we needed during the hub to make the finals, unfortunately. Yeah, but look, today we are celebrating some good and positive uh, positives of the season. Um, let's start, let's go straight into Golden Boot winners. Let's do it. All right, so our first. Uh, award of the night is going to celebrate our goal scorers this year. Uh, what do we have? Well, this season, I think it goes without saying, our Hyundai A League Golden Boot winner was our recently departed Captain Fantastic, the Duke of Western Sydney, Mitch Duke. Duke was fourth overall in all the goal scoring charts this season for the league and a clear winner of the club's golden boot with 14 goals from his 26 appearances. Tats, I must say, looking at some of this vision on your screens right now, it's bringing back some good memories of the season. Absolutely. Look, Mitchell Duke, the captain, always came to deliver for us. That Adelaide game, what a match that was. Fantastic. I mean, uh, and of course, the Sydney derbies as well. Uh, he scored two in that Adelaide game, but of course, he scored in both Sydney derbies at the he, start of the season. Both out um, of, yeah, yeah, he did actually. Yeah. That's right, yeah. Fantastic footage from the captain. Congratulations once again. Let's go and look at our W League Golden Boot winner. This season we have Kristen Hamilton. Of course, Kristen Hamilton was uh, fantastic for us with seven goals this season and it also secured her a, jet, a joint um, W League actually goal scoring title. Great season for her I must say and hopefully that can um, sp spark the girls on to having another fantastic season next year. Yeah, absolutely. She was uh, a real game changer for us this season. Tats, let's talk a little bit about the importance of volunteers at this club. We are a community club after we all. We are. We pride ourselves in that and we love to uh, reward our volunteers. Obviously, they love to show their passion. They put their time and effort into this and makes uh, a fantastic uh, game day experience for us. I believe you have the first envelope of the night for me. <gasps> I do. Look at that. Um, all right, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Now, the first award for us, of course, is our Centuria Wonder Crew Volunteer of the Year, and the winner is Linda Cerrone. Congratulations, Linda. Congratulations, Linda. Thank you for all your help. Now, Linda is the general manager of Nepean FC and has contributed a huge amount to the club since its inception. Linda was the Wanda Crew, Wanderers Centuria Wanda Crew coordinator this season and made an important contribution connecting with the club to help manage it's 80 strong Wonder Crew group that assists the club across A-League, W-League and NYL matches. Congratulations, Linda. All right, let's look at our Y-League team. Now, we've had some great seasons. We've had some finals appearances, a title as well. And um, we've had mixed results this season, of course, but it was a great opportunity to see some of our younger players come through, um, having a look at our uh, academy system and some of our young players coming through there. And I believe I get to open an envelope today. You do get the next envelope, Tats. Next Thank you very much. So uh, let's have a look at our Y-League player of this season. It is... 
Mo Elte, congratulations, Mo. Congratulations, Mo. The 20-year-old uh, was this season called up to the Wanderers' first team for training and is a star of the future, a defensive midfielder who is currently captaining our MPL team, who recorded their first win of the season over the weekend against the previously undefeated Rockdale. Congratulations, mate. All right, so let's take a look at um, our power chair team. What a group of special players we've got for our team, for a our club. A fantastic group and all very passionate as well. They are very passionate on the court. That's right. Yeah, do, you give, do I get one? You do get fantastic. one. Fantastic, I get another one. All righty, so this year's power chair player of the season is Luke David. Congratulations, Luke. An excellent showing this season uh, to be the player of the season for the Power Chair team. And thanks also to Aruma and Northcott, our Power Chair sponsors. Right, Turner, let's look at our Members Player of the Year this season season now this is really important it's voted by our members of course and a big thank you of course to our members it hasn't been the easiest season of course with a lot of the games unable to attend but thank you all for tuning into the matches and of course checking out WSW live on match they hopefully will see more of you guys in the stands next season but um, let's talk about the positives I mean well to me, I think our Wanderers Academy is fantastic. Oh, it's amazing. We've just completed stage four, of course, which is a little bit of a grandstand. So potentially we'll be able to check out some of the future red and black in the flesh at our very own center of excellence. Speaking of that junior team, Patrick Zwanzweig, he's, uh, he's taken control of his first MPL one match yeah. uh, against Rockdale 3-1 on the weekend. We mentioned that before, but I believe they say hashtag no grozos, no party. And this season? We had two of them, both of them got on the score sheet. So that's pretty exciting. Is our first season playing in the MPL one as well, which is a, a great achievement for our MPL side. And of course the future of the Wanderers, but there is apparently another big crop of uh, top tier players coming in the under 16s. They're apparently playing really well. So have a look out for those ones. Tats, I'm sure you're excited to see them on the field. I am very excited. I'm um, looking to see what our future might look like. That's right. And speaking of future next season, of course, the W League, Dean Heffernan, he's recruited quite well. He has. Now, like we said before, he's looking to go one better. We've got Georgia Yeomandale coming back. I have to say, uh, fantastic to see her back. I think it was 18 months she was out with injury and she's she's come back. She's playing uh, MPL football this year and we'll see her for the Red and Black this season. Caitlin Cooper, a long-time stalwart for the Red and Black. She has re-signed as well. Yes, very excited to see her back. Now, speaking of W League, should we announce some winners? I think we do. We've got okay. the uh, Westfield W League Members Player of the Year. I think... It comes as no surprise, our first Julie Dolan medal winner and a Golden Boot winner, Kristen Hamilton. Yes, let's have a look at some of the stuff she's done for us this season. Roberts gets to the byline, and the header is in! The Wanderers! ...by Lynn Williams and Hamilton, it's two! Lovely touch, and what a spin by Kristen Hamilton. Kristen Hamilton, what a hat-trick! That is a bullet finish by... That was great to see. Definitely reminded me of some good times in our W League season. Some great highlights and tats, I believe I'll have to give you the envelope for the next award. Another one. Wow, I'm very excited. So this is the Members Player of the Year um, for the A-League. And uh, I have a feeling I might know who this is. I think you might. It is our captain, Mitchell Duke. The Duke of Western Sydney, congratulations again. I think, you know, we've said all we can about him. He's had a fantastic season and uh, he's a uh, now since left us, of course, but uh, we can reminisce on some excellent times with him. He'll be uh, enjoying, I'm sure, this video package of his highlights from uh, a pool in Saudi Arabia somewhere in the heat. So if you're watching Mitch, congratulations again. Our final awards for tonight are the two big ones. Tats, we've got the big envelopes here in front of us, our W League and A League players of the season. First up, we have our finals debutantes, the Wonder Women. Yes, now this is really important because it's actually it's voted by players. It is. It is voted by the playing mm -hmm. group. Let's have a look. Am I going to give you... Oh, I think I've got the winner. You, you, you think you've guessed the winner? No, I think I've got the winner for you. Okay, all right, okay. Well, <laughs> the, the Wanderers medal for W League Player of the Year 2020. The winner is Courtney Nevin. A fantastic season for her. Future Matilda, she's re-signed for another season. So congratulations, Courtney. Fantastic season. 
Very bright future for the youngster. And a, a big honour as well to be voted by your peers for this uh, illustrious award, so congratulations again. Absolutely. I just want to shout out to the coaching squad. They did an amazing uh, job this year. We've got Dean Heffernan from Catherine, Catherine Canooley, Michael Beecham as well, right down to the players. They were fantastic this season for us. To get that extra goal and there it is. That just all comes from Courtney Nevin attacking play there. Amazing stuff from the 18 year old there. I believe she left us a message to let us know how she feels about this award. Hey everyone, I hope you're well. I'm very honored in receiving this award. I couldn't have done it without all my teammates, the coaching staff, and the support from my family. Thanks again. Now to our final award of the show, our A-League Player of the Season. Some top contenders this season. Again, this is selected by the playing group on a 3-2-1 vote system, and this award acknowledges the club's best players for the 2019-20 season. Tats, I believe you get the honours. <gasps> Alrighty, let's have a look. So this year's Player of the Year for the A-League is very deserving, I would say, our captain, Mitchell Duke. Let's have a look. Congratulations again to the Duke of Western Sydney. Again, wherever you are, whichever pool you're sitting next to, <laughs> enjoying the hot sun. Congratulations again. Yeah, look, our, his time here at the Wanderers at the moment has come to an end. He was fantastic for the club. Sad to see him go, but hopefully we'll have him back. Hopefully we'll have him back. You're always welcome here in Western Sydney. Uh, obviously, we had a great season and you're a big part of the club and everyone at the club obviously talks very highly of you. So, hope to have you back. Yeah, thank you very much. I believe our captain also has a message for us for tonight. Hey, everyone back home. Miss you guys. Been over here now in Saudi for the last two weeks, melting. But uh, my Wanderers family, I just wanted to say I'm, I'm very happy and thankful for the award from the fans, players, all the staff, everyone involved at the Wanderers. I'm very thankful. Um, I wanted to say again, just thanks uh, for my time there. Uh, it was one of my proudest moments being a captain of not just a professional football club, but of Western Sydney Wanderers and uh, representing from where I'm from. So again, thank you, miss you guys, and I'll always be supporting you guys and keeping, uh, keeping tabs on your season uh, for the future. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Cheers. We'd also like to give a big thank you to our partners, of course, A-League co-major partners, Centuria and JD Sports, W-League major partner, Intermain, and club sponsors, Mitsubishi Electric, Pepper Money, Nike, Herbalife Nutrition, Westfield, EISS Super, McDonald's, and Blacktown City Council. I believe that, unfortunately, brings us to the end of the night. It does, it brings us to the end of this season. I say that will conclude us. That's right. It for us. That's right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in, of course, and checking out these wonderful achievements and, of course, letting us talk to you about what's happening in the future for the Wanderers. Lots to look up for. Next season should be a big one for the W League and the A League as well. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully you can join us back at Wonderland next season. Tanner, will you be joining me? I will certainly be joining you. And I will hopefully catch you guys at a match next season, of course, checking out WSW Live. Thank you for tuning in.